Good morning. Velma Hagar with Steino here, and I'm sitting outdoors, and I mean it is gorgeous out here. I love the desert, and we have like 80 degrees this morning, and it's mid-September, and it's beautiful. With that said, I want to say this. There's a scripture that says, He who tends the garden shall eat the fruit thereof. You know, I don't like to talk King James Version, I, you know, which is a version of the Bible that's hard to understand. I like to talk in, in language that you, you can relate to and that you can apply to your life. So basically what that is saying is that if you tend a garden, you're going to eat what, what grows on it. And, you know, I always say each of us are given a little plot of ground in our life. Some of us are given big plots. Others have little tiny plots. It doesn't matter what you're given. What matters is what you do with it. Tend to your garden. Your life is nothing more than a garden. And remember this, if you, in a garden, if you put in corn seeds, you're not gonna get watermelon. What you plant is all you're ever gonna get. What are you planting in your life? And then just not planting, picture it like putting seed in the ground of a garden. You put the seed in. Well, first you have to till the ground and then you put the seed in and then you cover it up and maybe you fertilize it and you weed it and you water it and you keep it nice. And then one day what happens? It sprouts and then you get a harvest. Such is life. You know, that is life in a nutshell. You have to tend your garden of life. Care for it. And you know, like I said, one of my messages today said, anything that you don't take care of is eventually going to die. Anything. You don't take care of a relationship, it's going to die. You don't tend to it properly. You don't give it the attention it needs. You don't, anything in life, if you don't care for it, you're going to lose it eventually. Eventually it's going to be gone. You know, you can't be slipshod about life and about anything in your life. If you love something, tend it well. Because if you don't, you're going to lose it. Somebody else will get it. So remember, what you plant is what you're going to harvest. You want love in your life? Give love. You want money? Give money. You want friendship? Give friendship. It always amazes me when people say things like, nobody's friendly there. I, did, I quit that church because nobody talked to me. You know what the word says about that? It says, those that have friends must show themselves friendly. And in your words, to put it in words that everybody understands, if you're not showing yourself friendly to people, they're not showing themselves friendly to you. They're just people too. Those people at church that ignored you, they're just people too. What about you going up to them instead of waiting for them to come up to you? You know, I'm shaking my finger again because, you know what, we do. People do get into that mode where they... The, the, the entitlement thing is just horrendous. You think somebody owes you something? You think you didn't tend your garden? How come they have something and you don't? You know, honestly, folks, the do-nots are usually the have-nots. Or let me say that again differently. The have-nots are usually the do-nots. We started with nothing, nothing, my whole family. And you know what? We were the have-nots. But you know what we did? We started doing something. We worked. We got ourselves out of that pit. If you're in a pit, doggone it, get yourself out of it. Sometimes you have to work harder than other people, but you have to do it yourself. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you anything. The guy that tends the tree eats the fruit thereof, period, the end. You want something in life? Tend your doggone tree. Take care of it. Take care of your house. Keep it clean. Take care of your car. Keep it clean. Wash it. Change the oil or you're not going to have it. You don't tend your garden, you're not going to have anything. It's that simple. You can dream all you want. God isn't going to drop pie out of the sky. He blesses the work of your hands. Get your hands moving. Get them moving. I watched my whole family come out of poverty. All of us are on top of the world. We worked. We worked our garden. 
and we had a little teensy weensy plot, believe me. We were born in a crack. All four of us were literally born in a crack. We lived welfare. We didn't have welfare. Mother never went on welfare. Mother worked. Mother worked. She. W I remember her getting food stamps one time. I'm not putting anybody down that does it, but frankly, I think you ought to go out and get a job instead. I don't care if you have kids. Don't tell me, well, I can't because I don't care. I don't want to hear it. I had three kids, no child support, and I worked. And it wasn't easy. Now look at me. I'm off on another tangent. <gasps> I'm really, <laughs> you're lucky I'm hanging up right now. Because, <laughs> man, I... <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm stopping. But until next time, this is Velma Hagar with Steino, bidding you a blessed day. Honestly, I do bid you a blessed day. Buy my book. Hidden treasures in secret places, full of treasures, full of life application of God's word. I talked six minutes. I got to go. Blessings on all of you. Bye.